Hi, I'm Dr. Steve Knighton, and today we're gonna to go over the anatomy of some of our neck complaints. So, first thing we're gonna show you here, there's seven vertebrae in the neck. Um, it's tough to draw them all, but we're gonna say there's one, three, four, five, six, seven in here. And what happens is a bunch of muscles attached to them. The two major muscles that we see with this, um, with people with neck complaints, especially during COVID and people at the computer more at their house on laptops in bad positions, sitting on a couch in the bed, are your levator scap, which basically attaches on the inside of your shoulder blade and comes up to your neck up in here. And the other muscle is your traps. Think of your bodybuilder, no neck muscles in here. So what happens, this stuff gets all tightened up, causing pain in the side, causes these vertebrae to shift over, even vertebrae down into your thoracic spine, and then you get pain in there. This is where headaches come from, neck pain. You'll notice even the kids on the phone too much, their neck gets sticking out a lot. It's because all this stuff is just so crazy tight right now because all we do is play on our phones and computer. So a lot of text nest issues, a lot of just neck pain and headaches come from your trap muscles up in here, and then your levator scap in here, which attaches to the inside border of your uh, shoulder blade. Okay, so let's recap. We have seven vertebrae in the neck and 12 in our mid-back. Lots of the muscles that contribute to neck pain cross over from the neck to the mid-back and vice versa. Dr. Steve talked about two of the big neck pain culprits, the levator scapula muscle, which runs from the tip of the shoulder blade into the first four vertebra, and then the trapezius muscle, which runs from the base of our skull out to the tip of our shoulder and then all the way down to the last vertebra of our mid-back, T12. There are a number of other muscles in the neck that can also contribute to pain. Our suboccipitals are a small group of muscles that sit at the base of the skull, and even some muscles in the front of the neck, namely the scalenes and the SCM, can also cause pain. All of these muscles usually start to act up for postural reasons. As we already pointed out, the hours we spend looking down at phones and sitting at the computer are not good for our neck. Pain from these muscles can be felt locally at the points we've shown you, or even travel up into the head and contribute to headaches, or sometimes down the arm and between the shoulder blades. Pain in the neck can arise from the muscles, the joints, the nerves, or a combination of all three.